The following is Lesson 2, General Medical Q&A, 120 words per minute for 5 minutes. Ready? Begin. Question. Doctor, are you licensed to practice before the Workmen's Compensation Board of Wyoming? Answer. Yes. I am licensed in both psychiatry and neurology. Question. Will you state your qualifications, the work you have done in your specialty, any postgraduate work you have done, the date and year of your graduation, and so on? Answer. Well, I was graduated from the University of Wyoming Medical, Co Medical College in 1966. After interning at the Cheyenne City Hospital, I went to the Wyoming State Hospital in 1967 and stayed through 1968. And from 1968 on, I was with the Fort Laramie State Hospital and the Green River State Hospital. I have been Assistant Director since 1979. I have had postgraduate work at the Southern Colorado University Psychiatric Institute Medical School. I was in charge of clinics at the Wyoming State Hospital, in charge of all clinics at Green River State Hospital, on the staff of the Devil's Tower Hospital. I am a diplomat in psychiatry and I have my specialist's number with the Workmen's Compensation Board. Question. Now, when did you first see the claimant in this case? Answer. The patient was first admitted to Green River State Hospital on December 12, 1987, and I first saw him March 3, 1988. I saw him at that time to determine a diagnosis and also to determine his physical condition and whether the injury sustained by the patient in 1985 contributed to his mental illness. Question. And when you first saw the man, what did you find the matter with him, if anything? Answer. Well, I was an assistant director of the hospital at that time. The patient was presented at a staff meeting by Dr. Anderson for diagnosis. There was a history that about the middle of July 1985, the patient, while working with an acetylene torch in the warehouse of Commercial Motors at 130 Beam Street, lost his balance and fell about 12 feet off the scaffold and landed on his right foot and broke the heel bone. The case was closed April 20, 1987 with an award of 50% loss of use of the right foot, which entitled claimant to 104 weeks compensation at $325 a week, amounting to $33,800. The final payment was made February 23, 1989. At the staff meeting, which I conducted, the patient further related that the reason he jumped was that after cutting through a window frame with the acetylene torch, the wall started to crack and he thought it was going to cave in and he then jumped, injuring his left ankle, fracturing his right and bruising his back. He was taken to Wyoming State Hospital. He was fully conscious at all times. After he left the hospital, he used a crutch for three months but could not walk very well. Subsequently, he continued to have pains in his ankles from time to time and weakness. He was afraid to climb ladders and it interfered with his ability to work. He then began to drink excessively, but the patient tried to minimize it saying that he did not drink any more after than before the accident. He said that before the accident, he lost no time from work because of drinking. The differential diagnoses between schizophrenia, alcohol alcoholism, pathological intoxication, and paranoid disorders were considered. The majority opinion 
was that the patient was basically a borderline personality and his inadequacy was exaggerated by the injury. A borderline personality disorder means dashes that concludes five minutes at 120 words per minute lesson two medical dictation.